Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the song Hindustani Way. This is a collaboration between Ananya Birla and A.R. Rahman. So Ananya Birla is a singer and A.R. Rahman has composed and produced the song. Uh, the lyricist is not one lyricist, it's a group of people who have done the lyrics together. You can find all their names in the description. <laughs> So this song is basically an anthem from the Indian side for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics which sadly did not happen in 2020 which will uh, hopefully happen this year. Just a small disclaimer before we begin the video. Uh, I did not completely like this song. That is, I was not amazed or blown away by this song. Uh, there are elements of the song that I liked, but there are a lot of elements of the song which I really did not like and it did not work for me. Uh, so before you get offended, let me just tell you that this is just my opinion. I'm not uh, claiming any music expertise here. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, share with you guys what I liked and what I did not like. Uh, so if you are easily offended by that i suggest that you do not watch further uh, but if you are ready to just analyze and look at the song in an objective way please go ahead and let's uh, talk about that uh, again let me just say that this is just my opinion if you disagree with it let me know in the comment section down below and we can have a dialogue and a conversation so first let's talk about the concept of the song so if the song is intended to represent india outside India, like play at the Olympics or, you know, play as an anthem wherever India is playing, then this song doesn't really work. I'll tell you why. Because if you are targeting this song towards an Indian audience, it will work because we are very, uh, you know, aware of Western music. We listen to a lot of pop music. So, if you have a line of Hindi, ke is gaane se hata de, to there's nothing Hindustani about this song, right? So uh, even the vocal melody, the way they are singing, nothing is Indian. Uh, arrangement is completely Western. We'll get to that later. So it's not really an Indian sounding song. So in India, because of our pop music, because of our Bollywood music, we listen to these songs. So we would like it as a, just another song. But if this song was made to represent India somewhere else, then it should sound a bit Indian is what I feel. And this song doesn't sound Indian at all. So if that's not the case, like this was not made to represent India outside India, like have non-Indians listen to it and have a glimpse about India, then who is it made for? It is of course made for Indians, right? If the idea was to make a song like a jingle so that the youth, the young people would just come and, uh, you know, support the Olympics and the Indian Olympic uh, team. So then this is a good song. Because it is completely like a pop song, so it will attract the youth and it is set at a certain international standard. So it will attract them sound wise, audio wise, even the video was pretty great. So yeah, then it's a good thing. But then just be honest and say that this is a jingle, uh, which we want to play in ads and, you know, attract younger audience. So let's talk about lyrics. Uh, there's an English proverb that comes to my mind straight away, which is too many cooks spoil the broth. So five, six people contributing to uh, lyric writing for me is a bit too much because uh, then it lacks coherence. Then it lacks one vision. And what do you want to say and communicate throughout the entire song? So if you take a look at this song, the hook line, the Hindustani way, har dil, har pal, ye guy. So this actually works and it is very catchy. And that is the only part of the song that will be stuck in your head. But then after even two, three lessons, if you try to uh, analyze what else do you remember, uh, it's a bit tricky because there are these non-verbals uh, that come in and the song begins with that la 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 uh, thing. And then you go into the verses. But usme, there's a switch of Hindi and English, which can be done seamlessly. But here, uh, it's not really been done like that. Uh, they are saying that we bleed courage and we are warriors. So, uh, I think the idea was to say uh, in the hope that the Hindustani way and the other two verses will tell you what's the Hindustani way. Uh, where they say we don't give up, we don't fail, even if we fall, we rise and all that. Uh, those things are a bit cliche as well and uh, it has not been done in any, you know, inventive or innovative way. So lyrics are pretty plain uh, except for the hook which lands really well. Uh, the rest of it is actually, to be really honest, quite forgettable. So there is no line that you always 
अच्छा के लिए रह जाएगा सो ओवरऑल सैडली द लिरिक्स आर प्रिटी मीडियाकर इफ नॉट यू नो पुअर बट इट इट काइंड ऑफ वर्क बट एट मोस्ट प्लेस इट डज नॉट Let's talk about the vocal performance. So Ananya Birla actually has done a really good job here. Uh, I must be honest, I'm not familiar with a lot of other work of hers, but here she has done a great job. Uh, there are places where she has to be really soft in the beginning, and then towards the chorus, as the energy builds, she has to open up her voice and you know give that energy to the song, and she has done that really well. Though her singing is really good, there are a couple of places where uh, she tries to put on this aggressive mode with a grit on her voice, where she says "warriors." Ah, वहाँ पे कुछ दो तीन लब्स समझ नहीं आते. Pronunciation is not that clear. Also, there are some places where Indian words are pronounced in a very uh, American kind of way. So, ah, uh, though we understand what the words are, it's a bit uh, unnecessary, is what I felt. There are some backing vocals in the song which have been really well produced and well recorded. Uh, there is a choir uh, that has been used and uh, it has been used minimally, but the way it has been conducted and the way it has been put together is really well done as well. Let's talk about composition. I know a lot of you guys uh, who watch my channel are huge Rahman fans like me, uh, so we guys have seen a lot of his interviews. So we know that. in a lot of his interviews he says that for me a song is not about a great chorus or a great hook or you know a structure but what the song does to your spirit and how it moves you and what emotion it invokes in you going by that logic this song is not really a, a greatly composed song because this definitely falls in that structure let's write a hook let's do a verse and let's do this right and even with a lot of structuring rahman has his own unique structure he is known for breaking structures but this song uh, simply has a american pop song structure except for one thing where he has added his touch uh, so overall the structure is pretty much like a verse chorus a small bridge portion and it's pretty much like that but at the very end he brings the first verse again in a very filtered kind of way and i think that is the only ar rahman stamp in this entire composition let's talk about arrangement and production so this according to me is one of the best parts of the entire song because it's really well done uh, so the song begins uh, then you have these vocals which go la 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 and then you have these trumpet kind of sounds which uh, really work for me i'm pretty sure that they're not real uh, sounds it's a program sound but it still sounds really nicely and really well then uh, there are some string portions here and there but what really work for me are the drums and the bass so there is like a drone kind of a bass that comes and goes uh, between sections which helps you understand that the section has changed listen to the song and you notice that uh, that really uh, put a lot of energy and uh, you know feel into the song for me uh, the drums that have been programmed here or used here uh, it's a very spanish hispanic kind of thing you can listen to this a lot in reggaeton music or as a spanish say reggaeton uh, so that kind of a thing uh, has been used here uh, because they want to give you energy and pump you up a bit so that kind of beat really helps uh, but with that being said uh, by making these transitions and by structuring the song in a certain way the aim of every producer every composer is usually in a pop song or an anthem like this is to give you bursts of energy right uh, there are some portions which will be quiet like the verse and the chorus the energy will build up it does that here as well especially in the first chorus when the first time the hook hits uh, it re really gets you like pumped up and that part is really well done but later in the song when the hook repeats or when other sections with high energy come up uh, the energy build up i felt should have been a bit more and you know given you a little bit more of that goosebumps kind of feel uh, which for me did not happen i have a slight unpopular opinion to say here that uh, many people did not like the marvel anthem that rahman did a few years ago but i absolutely loved it uh, but there's a connection from that song to this song and that is that in both the songs he used those huge cinematic drums like taiko drums uh, those are featured in this video as well those huge japanese drums 
that gives a lot of energy uh, in rhythm. So I really like that uh, being used in this song as well. But like I already said, there are some portions where I would have liked the energy to be a bit more and you know, like slightly goosebump inducing, uh, but that did not happen. Overall, uh, arrangement and production is really well done. And for me, after the vocals, this is the best part of the song. Overall, as a song, as a song that has been put together for one event, it might work for some people, it might not work. But as a song that is purely made from heart, this did not really work for me. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, please leave a like. Check out our stuff on my channel. I do a lot of music related content, reviews, recommendations, underrated songs, and a few reactions as well. And sometimes I do film videos as well. There's a series that we do called Let's Talk Cinema. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, please go and check that out as well. Uh, so if you want to tell me anything good, bad, ugly, put that in the comment section down below. Or if you just want to chat with me, you can DM me on Instagram. You'll find the handle in the description as well. Uh, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. So if you like any of my content, please, please consider subscribing. I need all your love and support for that. With that being said, please take care of yourselves. Please be safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.